What? This is a matter of life and death, sir. Has something happened to Henry? In a manner of speaking, sir. Hi, this is the Professional Amateur Hour coming to you with another review. This week, Leo sent me Jekyll and Hyde. And this 2021 film was directed by Steve Lawrence and stars Tom Hendrick, Michael McKell, Mark Topping, among others, of course. So what is the story of Jekyll and Hyde? Well, it's not really about Jekyll or Hyde. It's more about Jekyll's lawyer who tries to prove his innocence after Jekyll's death. And there's also something about a will as well. But what will happen exactly? You'll have to watch the movie and find out. Alright, so let's discuss what works with this movie. Well, I did enjoy kind of the character piece of it. You know, it's not really about Jekyll or Hyde, so I thought it had this unique interpretation of the original story. I know the original story has some kind of like letters sent to the, the lawyer and whatnot and the inspector and, and everything like that. So it kind of hides that aspect of, of Jackal and Hyde in, in the story. It really does focus on kind of the, the other characters in the original story. I thought that was kind of interesting. It's definitely, you know, something I've never seen before and you've probably never seen it either. So it's definitely something that, you know, at least struck out to me as being wholly original. In addition, this is a period piece and they do get the period quite correct. Uh, you know, that all of their costumes are pretty good, all of their settings, you know, the 1800s lamps and, and writing pens and whatever. They even have a carriage pulled by horses. And for me, I was just a little bit shocked. I was like, of course they wouldn't have a car, but it was just something that stood out as, as you know, something interesting about this movie. And lastly, I know this is not going to mean much, but as a Rick and Morty fan, I got to tell you, there's a vat of acid in this one. And that brings me to what doesn't work with this film. Well, I gotta say, it is a little bit boring. It's mostly people just talking in rooms and, you know, it follows a lawyer. So he's going to talk about the law in the 1800s as well, which is not really the biggest interest for me. And so I did find it to be, you know, very slow paced, very low key uh, kind of storytelling. I can get what they're going for. Like it is supposed to be, you know, an 1800s gothic novel. And you know, I like reading that. Like I, I loved, what was it? The Sorrows of Young Weather. I, I enjoyed that one um, and other ones as well. But like translated to screen in that style doesn't really, you know, hold someone's attention. It's not very action packed. It is a lot of people talking in rooms. And so it, you know, it succeeds in, in having a novel feel to it, but at the same time, like a movie's not a novel, right? So, uh, yeah, that's probably going to be the, my main complaint. So who would I recommend this movie for? Well, I think if you're into, you know, Gothic 1800s, uh, novels and stuff, and you're really into the kind of that presentation style, this is kind of an interesting interpretation of that style. Also, if you're into maybe period pieces, you could definitely check this one out as well. As for rating, I'm going to give it the score of four, which may be, you know, one more than it deserves, but I am a fan of, you know, the 1800 novels. So I was interested in kind of that style of storytelling and seeing it on screen definitely was a unique experience. And having said that, I think that's all I wanted to say. So like and subscribe and I'll see you next time.